The recycling bin is one of the more rare specimens at Jennifer with only about four in existence. Very few understand the creature, making it difficult to preserve its natural habitat. Outside the girls' bathroom in the 8th grade hallway is the recycling bin's feeding location. Today we are here with a few of Idaho's recycling bin specialists to help us further educate ourselves. First we met with Dr. Dan Z. Bezos who has a PhD in animal behavior who has dedicated his life to studying recycling bin behavior. Okay, the recycling bin are mellow folk who like to hunt in solidarity, but traveling groups call litters. I'm here with my team to capture footage of them traveling together with my partner, Professor Zoe R. Trosh, who studies the species and groups. We now observe as the bins migrate from one location to another. It's a very fortunate sight, seeing as the bins rarely move location. There looks to be two parents, a mother and a father with their children. They're moving to a new position for their bi-weekly clean out. The bi-weekly clean out has never before been caught in camera. Bins are naturally very reclusive, so it's nearly impossible to record sightings like this one. As we were tracking the recycling bins, we came across a rare sight. Oh, I get to the camera! This caused us to go and hunt for new specialists who can give us an inside peek on this rare phenomenon. This is a very rare sight indeed with only a few videos in existence. Food is scarce and people at Jennifer don't recycle as much as they should. The recycling bin must do whatever it can to obtain the nutrients it needs. We theorize that they have resorted to consuming children because of its because they find themselves distracted by their cycling bin's appealing exterior. We hope to tame the bin's children eating habit with our, through my company's Feed the Bins program, which will prevent more children eating. The recycling bin is a complicated creature that deserves more time than we can give it. After tracking the recycling bins over an extended period of time, we have been able to learn about its feeding, migration patterns, and its rare phenomenon of eating children. There is still much to learn, but this sheds some light on some of the main questions the world has of this unique creature, and how people are trying to save our local children by recycling to save a life. Crikey! Recycle to save a life! What jobs did you have before becoming a police officer? So I was, I've done a multitude of things. I was in the Army for six years. I've worked at Sprint, I've worked at Schweitzer, I did EMT and firefighting when I came out of high school. So I've done quite a bit of different things. Nice. What made you want to become a police officer? Um, so I enjoyed the aspect of doing the EMT and firefighting, and then I was always curious about the other end of it, which was the law enforcement side of it. And finally, at some point, I just decided to apply for it and see where it took me. What do you think of Jennifer so far? It's been interesting. It's definitely a change of scenery coming from patrol. Um, it's just different. It's a different atmosphere, different issues to handle, different things to do. Would you like to be an SRO again here? Down the line, maybe. Um, still being relatively new, I would rather be on patrol, still getting used to everything and understanding it, and then coming here would be a good kind of refresher and or um, learning experience. What would you like the students to know about you? I mean, there isn't a whole lot. I mean, if anyone has questions, they're always more than welcome to come ask, or if there's any issues that they can always come up and, uh, you know, the door's always open. How much has Paul Blard affected your daily life and how much has he motivated you as a cop? Very much. He, he is the epitome of what law enforcement should be. Did you meet Paul Blart when you were initiated into the police force? Uh, no, he was too busy on uh, higher value things and much more important stuff than us lowly, lowly new officers. Oh, I'm sorry. Has he given you any words of wisdom? I've tried reaching out to him, um, but I've never gotten anything back. He's, he's too busy for us. I'm sorry, man. Thank it's you for your time. Day.